Today we are going to talk about electricity on Yom Tov. We are going to discuss the uh, Sephardic tradition, which was originally and still is in many communities, to use electricity on Yom Tov, both turning on and off all electric devices in all forms. So there are people who think that one is not allowed to use electricity on Yom Tov, and this indeed is an opinion that uh, has been promoted since the uh, uh, mid-20th century. Probably the reason for this reversal in uh, regards to the original Sephardic halacha was that with the rising popularity of TV and game consoles, the rabbis were afraid that the spiritual and sacred nature of Yom Tov uh, will disappear. And that is understood that we will have to protect the spirit of Yom Tov. The problem is that uh, when we define something as forbidden, when people intuitively understand that it is permissible, in this case electricity on Yom Tov, we cause more harm. People are being turned off, no pun intended, by uh, religion, and uh, and they keep away from it, or other people lose all the joy and happiness of Yom Tov that they could have had. If we want to create it as a fence, then we should say, the rabbi should say, it is allowed, but we decide to take it upon ourselves ourselves to not use it or to forbid it. But alternatively, the rabbis could invest more time in education and having the parents being able to educate their children, creating this household where Shabbat and Yom Tov have exciting atmosphere. Uh, I could attest from my own experiences in my family, my children grew up in a household where we use electricity on Shabbat, and thank God they all grew up to be observant and very respectable halakha, and, and in, in all aspects, there's no nothing was harmed in terms of this uh, uh, practice of using electricity on Yom Tov. So let's look at the halachic argument. The, the halachic argument of those who uh, are against electricity on Yom Tov is that it is considered molid. Molid means giving birth to something. It's a rabbinic prohibition against creating a new object or entity, something that does not exist before Yom Tov. But as many rabbis have already proven, this argument does not apply to electricity, since flipping the switch only channels existing energy. The uh, the great Sephardic scholars who ruled in favor of electricity in over, over 100 years ago were joined by some of the leading Ashkenazi scholars. Partial list includes Rabbi Yosef Mesas, Rabbi David Akohen Skali, the Rishon Lezion Rabbi Ben Zion Mir Hai Oziel, Rabbi Yafel Arun Shimon of Egypt, Rabbi Yaakov Moshe Toledano, the chief rabbi of Yerushalayim, Rabbi Tzvi Pesach Frank, and the Sephardic chief Rabbi, rabbi Shalom Misas, Rabbi Mas'ud Kohen of Jerba, and Rabbi Heir Michal Alevi Epstein, the author of Aruch HaShulchan. Most importantly, we have to mention Rabbi David Shlush and Rabbi Eliezer Waldenberg, because both those scholars were known, are known for their in-depth analysis of science and technology. Whatever uh, a halakhic issue involves science and technology, they delve into the issue they they talk with experts, and in this case, Rabbi uh, Shalush discussed it with the with the religious and orthodox uh, physicist who explained exactly electricity to him. And Rabbi Shalush came to the conclusion that indeed one is allowed to use uh, electricity on Yom Tov. The um, we're going to look at the sources and see what we have written. And uh, I'll start with Rabbi Yosef Meshash, who writes in Tzara Mikhtavim the following. Anu b'nei sefarad nahagnu l'atir ad lakat hashmal b'yom tov, shelo kada'at ahenu ashkenazim. We have the minhag to allow using electricity on yom tov, unlike the ashkenazim. Kevan she'en b'davar ze shum isur nolad klal. There's no problem of nolad, of a new entity coming into being. Uh, and those who are against it, arak dihya be'alma, they uh, they cannot provide a proof to their to their argument it says even if there was a doubt whether it's allowed or not we should be lenient because of the joy of uh, and happiness of Yom Tov which is a biblical mitzvah we're allowed to use electricity and you also allowed to turn it off if we don't let them people turn it off, they wouldn't turn it on. Uh, Rabbi Shalom Meshash, who is the cousin of Rabbi Yashav Meshash, used to say that you could only turn it on and not off, but then he realized that his cousin was indeed right, and by not turning it off, people uh, avoid using electricity at all, so he changed his mind as he allowed people to 
turn it on as well. The Rabbi Rafael Aaron Shimon of Egypt says the following: "Kol atolada shel aur azeh hanimtzet tocha chutim enana aset alidei ba'al abayit amadlik." The the outcome of light or energy, which comes from the wires, is not done by the one who turns on the uh, flips the switch. Where, where did, does he take his power from? What powers does he have to create electricity? Any further discussion is, is just vanity. There's no doubt that you could turn on electricity on Yom Tov. There's no question. Even Rabbi Avadeh Yosef quotes this minhag. In his Yabi Omer, Halek Bet, he says, Pashat a minhag po be Mitzrayim, Gam ben a haredim nidvar Hashem, Leatir ad lakata hashma be umtov. Even those who are uh, observant and orthodox have the practice here in Egypt to, to use electricity on Yumtov, according to the ruling of the Marad Atra, the master of the locality, Rabbi Aaron Shimon, and Rabbi Yosef Moshe Toledano, and that was the, age, the previous practice in Mitzrayim. Now, the reason I mentioned before that it's important to look at Rabbi Elav Waldenberg and, uh, and, uh, and Rabbi Shalush and what they write about this, because one of the arguments against the, uh, the rulings of the early Sephardic rabbis was they, they did not understand the nature of electricity, and had they understood the nature of electricity, they would never allow it. But when we look at Rabbi Shalush and Rabbi Waldenberg, who really analyzed uh, thoroughly the uh, the nature of electricity, we see, first of all, that uh, there's no such concern of someone not understanding what electricity is. Second, is that they actually agree with the analysis of the early Sephardic rabbis, that we could say they were right on target in their understanding in electricity, uh, which is, electricity already exists, and we all, we, all we do is allow the current to flow, to flow from one place to another. Rabbi Eliezer Waldenberg, uh, rules that it's okay, and he follows other great Sephar- Ashkenazi rabbi like Rabbi Zvi Pesach Frank, Chief Rabbi of Jerusalem, Rabbi Haim Michel Epstein, in the uh, in his Aruch Hashulchan, he says Ladlik or Electric Biom Tov Nira La Anu Dati Latir. It is allowed to turn on the light, and Rabbi Waldenberg says in Tzitzel Yaizer Halek Aleph Siman Kaf Aitzem Hu Ladat Haor Ena Ose Beze. This is not called creating a new things. It's not uh, molid. And finally, uh, we'll look at the, the final verdict of Rabbi David Shalush. He says, Sof Davar, final verdict. It is permissible to turn on the electricity on Yom Tov. You're allowed to turn it on, you're allowed to turn it off. The full discussion is in his book, Hamda Genuzah, volume 1, pages 67 to page 100. So, conclusion would be that the question of whether to use or not use electricity on Yom Tov seems to be mostly ideological. According to the dry legal definitions of permissible and forbidden actions of Yom Tov, it is clear that using electricity is allowed. The, the decision to as to... Whether you want to follow it in your own household or not is a personal issue. You can decide to, to do it, you can decide not. Just make sure that your decision does not uh, infringe on the rights of others and does not take away from the joy and happiness of the holiday. I wish everyone Hag Kasher Vesameh, Happy Pesach, Shabbat Shalom.